What's going on guys? It's Wayne here. Today we'll be reviewing how to access, download, and then how to drive uh, Supply Chain Management's personal cash flow template. So right now I'm in the post. Uh, we can scroll down until we hit this link and click it. And what pops up is the OneDrive file for the template what we can do is download it into our local Microsoft Excel application. We can enable the editing and content and let's make that smaller. This is the template. So essentially what this does is it tracks the entry title, whether it's an income or an expense, the transaction amount, category, um, and any notes that you want to put in here. So once we've entered all this information, now this we can completely delete or we can leave. We go into the second tab here, sheet number two, and a, two pivot tables pop out. One is filtered to only look at income and the second one is filtered to only look at expense and then we have the net income here which is just all the income here minus the total expenses here. Um, so what we can do is we can click the plus and we can see that there was a paycheck 8 6 2017 for 1500. Now, is that true on 8 6? Looks like all these entries are on 8 6 and we can see the first entry is paycheck income 1500. So that makes sense. Now, all of these expenses, I'm willing to bet, if we added all of this, it looks like it's 1,498.68. We'll actually total up to just that. So this makes it easy to see what's coming in and what's going out. But what if we have more transactions? Let's say, let's take this copy it. Now we have a bunch of new transactions and notice how this automatically populated. But essentially these two fields are auto populated based off of what's being entered in these two fields. Now if we head back, so we all see that this is 826, um, that is today's date. What we can do is since there's actually no uh, form control here, what we can do is go into data, refresh all, refresh, and what do you know? Everything has been automatically updated. And we can see that be before it was only 1500, but now after the second round, the second paycheck, it's another $1,500, so we should have $3,000 total. And then we click the plus button, and now we can see these two dates, we've brought in $1,500 a piece, and that's 50% of uh, the total income so far. Um, on the flip side, we can see that under automobile, it looks like we spent $40 on gas on 8.6, and then another $40 on gas on 8.26. We can see the automobile total here, or we can see the individual transactions uh, percent of total expenses here. Again, now this also has been updated to reflect the new entries on 8.26. Awesome. Thanks, guys.